Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. I just wanted to show you some of the new release from Simply Made Crafts. So I know that this is being released this weekend. I think Helen's on Hachanda and it was shared on Craft Stash Live. I'm trying to think when I'm putting this video up, but it'll be on the Friday that's around when this video's gone up. But I've made some samples and I thought before I post them off, I will share the samples with you so you can get to see, you know, how they look. But there is some more to this collection as well. So tune in to Craft Stash and Hachanda and I'll share all the links below anyway. So what I've got here, for anybody who doesn't know, Simply Made Crafts is a lot of like really cool gift boxes, gift bags, um, memory keeping, so mini albums and things like that, and um, it's all the dies to make it. So I'll start from the top. So first of all, I got here. This was a treat box edition die set, and this one works with this one here. Yeah, with the window treat die set. So with this one here, you can make something like this. Okay, so just open it up. You just got a nice gift box there and I've put a little shaker element on the top of that one okay but if you then want to change it up a little bit more and I really like this addition here you can create something like this and I've made a little treasure chest and I love this really really do enjoy this I think it would make great little instead of party bags giving everybody a little treasure chest you know when they're leaving um, you know uh, ch I say children's party but hey you might want to do it for the adults as well but you just open up the top here and inside you've got obviously plenty of room there um, and with the additions you get I love the padlock I'm going to use that on lots of other things that's going to look great on handbags nice big uh, as a certain famous um, bag company when they used to have the large padlocks um, and you get all the extras here so you get all these lovely beautiful you know decorations but you also get the diamonds and like the the gemstones so if you do want to make it you know more of a treasure chest style you do have those pieces there as well um, so yeah this is and what I another thing I really liked about this was this here is an embossing metal plate so rather than an embossing folder it's metal and it gives you the wood grain can you see there there we go, it's just picking it up. And then I've distressed this with some Distress Oxide inks. But I thought that was really nice, so I just put that a couple of plates across it. And that's there is the join, I think, from the plates. But I think it looks like a crack in the wood. So, again, just, you know, work with it. <laughs> and um, I think it turns out really well. So this I love. So this is what it will, you know, do if you just have this one. You've got lots of other bits, the trellis you can do all the way around. I just tried to throw everything on there so you can see. But um, you've got this banner here as well, you've got a gift tag. And then you've got some sentiments there to use as well. So that was those two. Then I will show you this one here, this is beautiful. So this is the Starbox die set and you can make this and it's beautiful. So this is a gorgeous star gift box and then just lift the lid off and you can see inside there you've got lots of room and with this one you have obviously the detail there you've got the flowers which I've done on top the leaves are from another one of Helen's collection and it was the handbag one you've got stars here and then it says you're a star and let's celebrate and then it tells you obviously on the back all your instructions there and this one also coordinates with this one here which is your 3D stars die set. And these, I think, are really cool. And you can turn them into little gift boxes as well. I've just kept them as decorations. But look at these. You have some of them hanging down, you know, for a party. And I've used my favourite holographic cardstock. But just look at the way the light hits that. So you imagine that's caref like, carefully, that's slowly like spinning around, catching in the light. But if you don't stick down one of them, and put like a little tab or some ribbon there, you can turn this into a gift box. You get the little piece there to hang, so I'll pop some string through them, but they're the three sizes, and I'll just show you how the die looks. So you will need a large die machine. These ones you don't, these ones are standard, your smaller one, and uh, you get your little piece to hang as well. But you can see there, so you just die cut two of them, to make the box or the actual 3D form. But you can also use them as a topper on a card. So you just die cut it once and then you can stick it onto a card um, base as well. You could have it as a topper on a gift box or something like that. But I just thought that was really, really cool and they're so quick to do. So again, if you do like to make, you know, party decorations, then I think these are great. And what, how lovely are those on the Christmas tree? 
because they look like plastic ones. You know, they look like they would be hard, not cardstock. So uh, yeah, love them. I think they're really, really good. I think they're going to do very well as well. So that's those ones. And then lastly, I had this one here, which is your split cube box die set. Now this can, well, it can make three different boxes really. You've got the cube box, the cube box with compartments and the triangular box. So I've done all three together. So this is what it would look like. Okay, and then when you open it up, you have, it looks like the sandwich boxes, but you can open up and you've got a compartment here, that just clips in, and then you've got another compartment there. But you can have, take these off, don't add these pieces, and it will just close and be one square. So when it opens up, you know, you might have loads of sweets that just kind of fall out of it. Or you can just have one half, the triangular, so just this, you know, they look cute. Or you can do, what was the other one? Yeah, that, no, that was it, that was three, wasn't it? Triangular, which is just one half. Cube box with the compartments, which is what this is. There's the compartments, or the cube box, just remove the compartments and have it as one piece. But there's a lovely solid, you know, cube. <laughs> and then you can see you get all these bits for decoration. I actually decided to use this one. So this is your fun accessories die set and I've used the party hat, the hooray and the stars and again I just thought they'd make really nice party favours and um, but alternatively you know you've got the decoration there and you can have that as like a little detail here on the front if you wanted to. And then you also get this one here which is the elegant accessory die set and you just got some really nice sentiments there, you've got some bunting, you've got the like party streamer and then inside here you can see there the congratulations is really nice that'd be great for your cards as well but um again you could let's just have a little look yeah see how it would go across like a box so yeah really nice lots of different ones there you've got especially is that right there yeah especially four and then you have you <laughs> especially for you i'm gonna break out into song why does this or everything i'm reading out lately is just making me sing a song i'm humming it now in my mind i can yeah you probably all know what i'm singing um but yeah i just thought they were a nice little addition but like i said there is also a couple of other bits i have i haven't actually seen them i just saw a sneak peek that went up on facebook of the collection because craft stash have got a competition where you can win but I'm not sure by the time my video goes out that may have already finished but um, I'll, again I'll link all that kind of stuff below and um, you know you can take a look yourself. Okay so there are my samples just thought I'd share them with you before I send them off and uh, yeah let me know what you think I'll share all the links as always below go and head over to uh, Craft Sash Live um, or watch the rerun <laughs> again <laughs> I make my videos in advance so I, I don't always know when they are actually coming out um, until I sit down and schedule everything so anyway I'm gonna go thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial bye